All right, welcome back. I am your coach, Nikolai, and I'm here with the great Rena. She's going to be your pace setter. Let's go ahead and get it warmed up with some slingshots. We're going to go 30 seconds each direction. Try to keep your palms open and your forearms nice and relaxed. Use your four fingers like hooks. Hey, but with your thumb off the kettlebell. As that weight swings out away from you, try to counterbalance it with your own body weight. We're going to switch directions in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one other direction. At the end of this 30 seconds, we're going to do some loaded squat benders. Of course, you can do this unloaded if your weight is too heavy, but you'll take the kettlebell behind the shoulder blades. You'll perform one squat and then one forward bend, making sure to keep that lumbar nice and flat. We'll start that in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, take that weight behind your shoulder blades, straight legs on the forward bend, and then you can adjust your stance for the squat if you need to so that your knees track your toes. In about 15 seconds, we're going to lose the kettlebell and we're going to do some overhead squat circles where you'll rotate both arms into an overhead position, perform an overhead squat, and then rotate them the other way and squat again. Three, two, one, bell down, overhead squat circles. Here we go. Good. The shoulders and your thoracic spine nice and loosened up, the hips loosened up. Adjust your stance as necessary. In about 10 seconds, we're going to do lizard lunge openers. Five, four, three, two, one. Plank position. Bring your right leg up to your right foot and then reach up to the sky with that left arm and then alternate legs. You want to try to open up that chest to the sky. Good job. Take your time. Try to get into this stretch. We have 30 more seconds of the lunge openers. Fifteen more seconds. And about five seconds, we're going to stand up and we're going to do some high knees. Four, three, two, one. All right, we can stand up. You can either walk or jog vigorously, bringing those knees up nice and high. In about 20 seconds, we'll reverse it and do the butt kick version where you bring those heels up nice and high. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, butt kicks. Only 30 more seconds of warm up here before we get into the main workout. Four, three, two, one, and time. Section one, we have 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off times three rounds. That first exercise we have is an alternating stop swing. That bell's parked on the ground. You're gonna hike it back nice and high, swing it up and alternate hands at the top of each swing. You park it in between each swing so you lose that momentum. It causes you to have to use those hips and legs and glutes a lot more when you park it each time. All right, and then we're gonna get 10 seconds off and we'll go into a deadlift plus a jump squat. You can do this, do this with a single kettlebell, two kettlebells. Uh, I'd like you to take the kettlebell in the sumo position so it's between your feet. 
You're going to uh, squat down, hips back, lumbar flat, stand it up, put the bells down, and jump. One sumo deadlift, one jump. And if you don't do jumps, just give me the sumo deadlift for the entire 30 seconds. And then we're going to do uh, back to alternating stop swings. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, times three rounds. Of course, doubles are always extra credit. Here we go. Stop swing in five, four, three, two, one, and get it. Good job, 15 seconds down, 15 to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right. Deadlift plus jump squat. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good job. Fifteen seconds down. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Beautiful work. All right. Stop swing. Alternating stop swing in six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Fifteen more seconds. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one time. Good job. Second set of deadlift plus jump squat in seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and get it. Fifteen more seconds. Great job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great job. Final round. Last set of stop swing, alternating stop swing in six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. And time, good job. Final set of deadlift plus jump squat in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Very good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Time. Great job. All right. Section two. We have one minute on, 
for one round, no rest, we have three different exercises. We have uh, jerk or push press on the left for a minute. And then we'll go right into jerk or push press on the right for a minute. And then when we're done with that minute there, we're just gonna drop the weight and go into plank jacks. So you'll be in a plank position. Feet together, feet apart. Feet together, feet apart. Perfect. Now if you have doubles, you can do uh, two arm jerks for two minutes straight if you want a little extra credit, which I know you do. Here we go. Push press. If you're not doing the jerk, you can do push press. Uh, you're just gonna use the power from your legs, but there's no hop and there's no drop, okay? There's no under squat on the push press. Here we go. Starting with jerk, it's either singles or doubles. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Good job. We've got three minutes straight through, no rest here. Good job. Thirty more seconds till the switch if you're doing singles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch if you're doing singles. If you're doing doubles, you got another minute. Good job. Thirty-five sec more seconds, then we're gonna drop that weight and get down into plank jacks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's time. Let's go ahead and get down into those plank jacks for this final minute of work here. Feet together, feet apart. Keep that core tight. Weight stacked on top, or your uh, hands stacked underneath your shoulders. Thirty five more seconds. Fifteen more seconds, almost there. Hang in. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and time. Great work. Nice. All right. Section two complete. Section number three. We're going to go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, times four rounds. We are going to alternate between two hand swings and narrow, wide, tippy toe squats. So two hand swings, single kettlebell. You're going to hike it back between your legs nice and high. Good arm body contact. Use the shifting of your body weight plus your hips and glutes to accelerate it to about chin chest height, keeping that trajectory of that bell nice close to the body for 20 seconds. And then you'll alternate that. The first set you'll do narrow uh, tippy toe squats. So you're up on your tiptoes here, just like it sounds. And then you're gonna squat down as deep as you can comfortably from that position, down and up. 
for this uh, the second set when we get to those tippy toe squats we'll do them wide same thing but just a wider stance gonna work a little different muscle groups there all right starting with the first set of two-handed swings in five four three two one let's get it good job Three, two, one, and time. Great job. All right, narrow tiptoe squats in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good job. Three, two, one. Beautiful. All right. Round one complete. Round two. Two hand swings. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Outstanding. Okay. Wide tiptoe squats in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Test your balance here. Get those heels as high as you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, halfway through this Tabata. Round three in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good job. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good job. All right, back to the narrow tiptoe squat in five, four, three, two, one, down and up. Good job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Okay, final round coming up. Last set of two hand swings. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Great job. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Outstanding. All right. Final set of wide tiptoe squats. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Great job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Good job. All right. Three sections down, two to go. Section number four. Again, we're 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, times four rounds, alternating between two exercises. We have plyo push ups alternated with marching glute bridges. 
With the plyo push-ups, you're going to take your kettlebell handle side down and away. Heavier kettlebell is going to be less likely to move on you. You're going to set up in a push-up position with one hand on, one hand off. You're going to push up and then switch sides. All right. Rena's pretty good at this. She can kind of hop it a little bit, but if you need to walk your hands on over to, be, uh, to have more control, then please do that. Or you can substitute conventional push-ups. And then the marching glute bridge will be on your backside. You're going to drive your hips towards the sky through your heels and alternate those legs in a marching fashion here. But do your best to squeeze those glutes and keep those hips nice and high. Starting with the plyo push-up. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, let's go. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, we're going to flip it over here. Marching glute bridge. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good job. Push that belly button towards the sky. If this is easy for you, you can always hold a kettlebell on top of your pelvis. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Outstanding. All right, round one complete. Round two, plyo push-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Good job. Six, five, four, three, two, one and time. Okay, marching glute bridge. Three, two, one. Holding that kettlebell up to extra credit. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, we're halfway through this Tabata. Third round, plyo push-ups. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Great job. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Third set of marching glute bridge in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Final round. Last set of plyos. In ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, great job. One more set of marching glute bridge. Six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great job. All right. Four sections down, one to go. Our final section consists of a four minute AMRAP. That's as many rounds as possible in this case. The way to complete a round is to do five snatch or high swing with a float on each side followed by five horn cleans plus squat. So Rena is going to demonstrate the snatch here quickly. It's a, essentially a high swing where you quickly insert that hand through the window as the bell is traveling vertically. You fixate it over that shoulder for just a brief moment before you drop it down into a swing again. If you haven't learned how to do the snatch yet, just give me a high swing with the float instead. Five on each side. When you've done those five high swings or snatches on each side. We're going to do five horn clean plus squat. So one horn clean, one squat. Or I guess you could do five horn cleans and then five squats if you want to break it up like that too. Not going to be a stickler on that one. There we go. Here we go. As many rounds as possible in five minutes. If you post your best minute on Instagram and take Pro Kettlebell, we'll enter you in for a raffle prize. All right, get ready for it. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Good job. Great job. All right, 45 seconds down, a little timer malfunction, but I'm keeping track for you. Doing great. Two minutes down, two to go. Great job. Great job. Final minute.
30 more seconds. Great job. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Outstanding. Just in the nick of time. All right. Yes, take a little second to wipe yourself off. Grab a little drink of water. When you are ready, please clear a little space to have a seat with your legs outstretched in front of you. And please have a seat. Take a nice deep breath, reach for the sky, look to the sky, exhale, reach for your toes to the best of your ability. Hold that for a 20 count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Please lie back. Cross that right ankle over your left knee. Pull that left knee towards your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Same thing on the other side, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Please roll it on up. Take one knee for a runner's stretch. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Other side, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Let's go face down. Left arm out to a T, palm and that left hand flat to the ground. Bring that right leg up and over the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Same thing on the other side, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Go ahead, bring it on back to center. Push yourself up into Cobra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now please sit those hips back on your heels. Walk your hands forward till you feel a stretch through your lumbar and your lats. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, outstanding job. Thank you so much for your hard work. Thank you, Rena, for setting the pace. See you next time. Bye.